Hey guys, this is Tara with Kittens, Weights, and Tarot, and today we're doing an unboxing of the Witch's Roots for February 2022. Yay! <laughs> so as I film this, today is Valentine's Day. Yes, the Hallmark holiday, but we should also celebrate all forms of love. Unconditional love, universal love, self-love, and yes, the lovey love. But let's see what the Witch's Bounty has cooked up for February. Okay, so it looks like we have our list of items in here. So let's go ahead and take this off. Of course, I always keep this hemp to be re reused. So remember, reduce, reuse, recycle. Okay, so let's see what the theme of this box is. Okay, this is called the Spirit Well. As our spirit grows older and wiser each season, we begin to choose love over hatred, understanding over judgment, and progress over stagnation. We find this through the continual effort of connecting with our vulnerabilities and working to heal our past traumas and misunderstandings. The world around us begins to become more vibrant and full of affirmative energies when we work through the healing process. We connect with our empathic self, which sways to, close to the spirit realm able to find glimpses of new information and wisdom through heightened sensitivity. In this very special collection, we work with a variety of tools to bring us healing, growth, and protection through connecting with more sensitive and spiritual characteristics of self. The magical items in this box are as follows. Okie dokie. All right, so let me put this off to the side so I can reference it. Uh, and let's see uh, what we got going on in here. Oh, hello. We have this large card here. Through the sacred circles of healing, I serenely integrate spiritual talents and soul wisdom into my heart. I am ready for empowered and loving expression. Ooh, soak that in, you guys. I like that. That's wonderful. Okay, let me look. Um, this is a personalized oracle card reading. We have meditated and selected a card from the Circles of Healing deck by Alana Fairchild placed inside your box. This card and the symbols that are represented was meant for you. And that's something that I love about their boxes is they actually take the time to tap into our energy. Uh, so it's not just throwing a bunch of stuff into a box and sending it off to the subscribers, but knowing full well uh, that this is going to real people and real magical practitioners who will use their items for a long, long time to come. Okay, so let's see what else we have here. Oh, the Chalice Wells. actually have a picture of Chalice Wells in my Wally's World Oracle from one of our wonderful community members because uh, it is a community created deck. Okay, so it says Chalice Wells Book of Shadows reference page written and illustrated by A.E. Alden. This beautiful Chalice of Wells reference artwork holds wonderful information regarding the magical properties and importance of the sacred site. <gasps> beautiful! Check this that is amazeballs. I can't wait to read through that. Beautiful. And you guys can always take these um, Book of Shadows artwork and you can actually put it in your Book of Shadows or you can place it on your altar. Or you can put it in a picture frame, hang it up in your home. Um, but it's a wonderful, um, not only piece of art, but reference as well. Okay, let's get into the rootsy stuff. So some herbally goodness because that is my heart. So <laughs> we have elderberry which I actually, um, I'm going to have to re-up on some elderberry because I use a lot of it. It's really good for healing and uh, keeping away the sniffles and things like that. Okay, so it says that this artwork um, was ex uh, created exclusively for uh, to honor elderberry for um, the witch's roots. And this was written and illustrated by A.E. Alden. So I'm going to place this in my encyclopedia of herbs that I have. I like to just kind of put like little extras in there to uh, make it a more complete compendium. Okay, um, let's see. I think we have a candle in here. So it looks like they're doing something a little bit different. Um, before it was tissue paper that they wrapped their candles in. And now we have nice little bags here. 
And what's nice about that is that <laughs> it's actually dressed. So maybe they've done that so the herbs don't, um, you don't lose too much of the herbs here. Okay, so let's see what this says. Uh, this is the vibratory growth mini spell candle. We have hand rolled this vibratory growth mini spell candle with the intention of providing you with a space, silence, and stillness as you journey through healing and shadow working rituals. This candle has been rolled in lemon balm herb and it says, remember, fire safety, you guys, please do not leave your candles unattended, especially if you have mischievous little fur babies or, you know, actual human babies running around that uh, might accidentally burn themselves. So be careful. And this is beautiful. I love their beeswax. It um, burns so cleanly and evenly. Yay! I'm actually going to um, put this, keep this on top of here because I don't want to lose all of the herbs. Okay. So let's see. What else do we have here? Hmm. Stuff smells so good, you guys. I wish there was smell of vision. Um, but what's inside here? <gasps> oh my gosh, check this out. Whoa, is this freaking lipidolite? Okay, wow. Yeah, I can see the mica. Um, yes, this is this is rough lipidolite. Uh, one of the most effective calming stones, lipidolite can be a wonderful companion on your journey of healing and self-discovery. This beautiful stone brings harmony and patience into our space and ritual. So it says to keep it with you when you travel or place it near you when you're performing your magical workings. I am a huge fan of this stone. I actually have it in various places around the apartment. So I do find it really calming and... Uh, try sleeping with one of these under your pillow. You'll have beautiful dream recall and um, I believe much more serene REM. So sweet dreams indeed. Okay, this is beautiful. I'm going to place this here. And okay, okay, what's next? What's next? Okay, okay. <gasps> Elderberry. Because <laughs> I needed more, I did. Um, and these are really good actually if you make um, elderberry chocolates uh, when you can put this in a, a pot and basically simmer it down so it becomes a syrup and you can put it into some chocolates keep it in the freezer and if you have young ones that maybe don't like medicine so much you can give them some elderberry chocolates not only is it delicious and a candy uh, but also really good for their immune system so uh, you can do that or you can just actually make it a syrup and keep it in the refrigerator so that they can have a spoonful a day, you know, in case they do catch the sniffles. But anyway, it says that elderberries are found on the elder tree, specifically the black elder, formerly known as being a flower shrub in the honeysuckle family. <laughs> Sorry, honeysuckle, honeysuckle. These specific elderberries come from Eastern Europe. Although the berries are commonly used for creating a variety of infusions, the leaves and stems are known for being toxic and poisonous. Yes, do be careful, you guys. The elder tree is thought to possess wonderful magical powers and abilities due to uh, being inhabited by the tree spirit known as the elder mother. Uh, let's see, it talks a little bit more about it and then it gives you some ideas on how you can use this. It says you can use it in dream pillows, magical sachets to assist you in astral travel and spirit con uh, contact. Um, if you wear it as a charm, it can help protect you from psychic and physical attacks from others. Uh, great for shadow work. Um, Lots of good stuff and also gives you the elemental association and the planetary association it says that uh, these here are just for ritual use only so good to know love me some elderberry good times okay looks like we have a tea here my tea answers have been <laughs> prayers have been answered my answers have been prayed okay you guys i'm tongue twisted anyway this is called the elixir of life um, and in here, we have included this wonderfully soothing elixir of life ritual herbal tea to this collection to bring you calming and regenerative energies. This unique tisane has been created with peppermint, elderflower, rose hips, ginger, anise seed, thyme, yarrow, and calendula. That sounds delicious. I think I've made something similar, maybe plus or minus a couple of those herbs. But this is going to be a maze balls. Guess who's having this tonight? This girl. <laughs> okay. Um, what else? What else? It's like all of these things in this tiny little box. Okay. 
we also have here some beautiful incense sticks and it looks like we have some eucalyptus here um, these wonderfully fragrant ritual incense sticks were placed within this collection to assist you in astral travel and provide protection on your path also really good for healing as well uh, good for the sinuses and the lungs and all of that so wonderful uh, also if you are sensitive to uh, heavy fragrances you can also burn this outside of your window or outside of your door you know it also creates that magical intention and remember to not leave these unattended as well okay looks like we have some other uh, goodies in here let's go with this one first <laughs> i'm like what do i do what do i do looks like we have a spray here or what's going to be a spray put that aside perhaps reuse that okay uh, let's see what it says about this um, this is Neptune ritual aura spray we are thrilled to be able to introduce our Neptune ritual aura spray within the special collection this very special blend was created to strengthen your intuition release your judgments and bring you closer to your creative self it says that they have created this with the oils of spearmint, peppermint, lemon, and rosemary, lemongrass, lemon verbena, and a special mixture of their higher self magical oil from their personal cabinet of witchery. Uh, it says this is for external use. So, you know, always be careful when you are spraying herbs um, that they won't stain certain fabrics and furniture and things like that. So let's go ahead and put this on like so. And I'm going to put this cap off to the side. And I'm going to go ahead and give my little space here a spritz. So give me just a moment. Oh my gosh, it smells like the ocean. Oh, that's so good. Okay, you guys know that I have moved to Arizona, you know, actually one year ago, a couple of days ago, <laughs> as of a couple of days ago. And I love the desert a lot, but I grew up by the ocean and I miss the smell of the sea. It smells like the sea. It smells like the beach. It smells like the freaking ocean. Oh, so I miss that smell. Um, I think some visits to San Diego are in order in the next year. <laughs> okay, so this, this is wonderful. Also really clearing. So I like that. Okay, it looks like we have one more item in here. Let's open her up. Got a nice little bag that we can reuse. Oh, it's the symbol in Chalice Wells. Oh. Everything is interconnected. Okay, let's see what it has to say here. The chalice well pendant with chain. Said to be in almost constant use for at least 2,000 years, the chalice well carries deep and mystic energies. Also known as the Red Spring, the chalice well is found near Chalice Hill in Glastonbury, England, and issues over 25,000 imperial gallons of water a day. The well and spring continue to provide water even during the droughts. In addition to being known as the gateway to the spirit world, the chalice well and the water within it is said to possess healing qualities. This beautiful and unique pewter necklace represents the chalice well. Uh, so it says on the back, everything is interconnected and it's meant to remind you of your continual path of growth as well as your connection to the spiritual worlds that surround you. It's amazing. So many wonderful goodies. All right, you guys, that was everything in this month's Witch's Roots for February 2022. I hope you enjoyed this. I like helping to promote small business. Um, I also, I've been subscribed actually to the Witch's Moon Box. Um, actually, since they started their company, was that 2016, 2017? Uh, just because I believe in what they do and I appreciate their beautiful energy and what they put out there into the world. Um, I also like making these videos to help give you ideas, DIY ideas, because even if you aren't um, going to subscribe to these boxes, I do believe that a witch, a real witch, 
is utilizes his or her environment to create real magic. So hopefully, you know, you can think about things that you already have in the home. Maybe you do have some elderberry. Maybe you want to incorporate maybe the scent of the ocean. Maybe you have some lapidolite or eucalyptus. Um, you want to make some herbal teas that are maybe similar to this, you know, just um, taking what you have here, what you already have in your home and seeing if you can maybe transmute it into some magic. So hopefully this gave you some good ideas, but you, if you are interested in subscribing to the Witch's Roots box, I have that link down below. And remember, <laughs> I, I totally support them and I've never been disappointed by a box. They always have some wonderful things. But anyway, again, I hope you guys dug this. And if you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to click subscribe and don't forget to click that ding, ding, ding notification bell for more videos just like this. And if you want to catch a reading from me, head over to www.kittensweightsandtarot.com. All of my other links are down below for my Leon Mystery School, my newsletter, Desert Cauldron, which is a witchy shop that James and I own. And actually, we have a selenite sale going on. So we're trying to blow out all of our selenite because we got a lot of new things from Tucson. So we're trying to make room. So definitely check out that sale. Um, yeah, and all of that other goodness is down below, like I said. So I will catch you spiritual homies later. All right, peace, love, and chicken grease. Peace out.